All right, guys, so doing another video, and uh, pardon my eye, mm, problems. Anyway, uh, my brother and me are changing out the cabin air filter in the Dodge Dart. This is going to be a very long video. It's not super difficult, so we're going to show you how to do that. So when you get down here on the passenger side, you have this kick panel right here. You just pull it off. It's got clips on it. You don't have to worry about breaking it. You have to give it a little bit of a tug. And then underneath here, you have the cover for the cabin air filter. It's a 5.5 millimeter screw. You take that out, pull the cover off, and then you just take the old filter out. It's filthy. They changed this though, right? Yeah, they changed this a month ago. Yeah. Nope. Sorry. So we got a new one. All right, so this is the new one, guys. This came from O'Reilly's. Uh, pretty sure you can get these at just about any auto parts store. Um, unfortunately, they're a little pricier than I thought they would be. They're about 22 bucks. Um, but like I said, it needed changed out. I'm pretty sure that's the factory one that came from the factory. So it needed to be changed. It was filthy. The one we're breathing that crap in. So. Don't forget to take the plastic off. Yeah. Sad we have to tell people this. Find out which side is the inlet side and which side so, is the airflow side. Airflow is going to go towards the passengers in the car. So you want to make sure that the arrows are pointing towards where the passenger is. And you just kind of finagle it up in there. Get it up in there. And you got your case right here. You just kind of fill, fill that up in there. So it's going to go in there like this. You got this little clip at the bottom. Sorry. <laughs> they don't make it easy to get to them. Damn, that's it. That's basically all there is to it. Like I said, pretty simple, guys. Um, like I said, just wanted to bring you a video. Anytime I'm doing something, I try to bring them to you. Uh, like, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave a comment below. I always try to get back to everybody that I can. And uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, guys. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you next video.